Hello friends and welcome back. In the last video we have added the two methods in here that need to be evaluated or implemented and after that we see on how to apply the specification by using the specification evaluator and we see on how to get the entity with spec or the entities as a list of the results. And before we do any of that, we can come here and correct for a little bit. Here as we're going to get the list, we need to, to make this as a nice read only list of, I am going to call this as a I read only list of T. And I'm going to make it like this one. And this will make more sense. And as we add this one and you didn't permit them into the generic repository, we need to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and use the quick fix and I'm going to implement the interface. All right. And as the list of the method is somehow alphabetical, you can see that this came here and this come here too. We need to bring them together so as to be able to see what they are doing. And I'm going to remove this bit of space in here. All right. So down here, I'm going to go and paste it right here. And what we're going to do, we're going to to try now to uh, to to apply the specification here. And the way we do that, we need to add the method that will help us with that. And the method that will help us, we return the i queryable, and that i queryable, and the i queryable will be casted to the methods that the database can understand, so as to return the data that we need. And in that method, we'll be having the access to the context, and it can help us to set now the entity to be work the wave. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to say private. And it is going to return the i queryable, of course, as we're going to add the apply specification. And it is going to take this uh, generic type. And I'm going to call this as apply specification. And inside here, we need to pass in the i specification. And it will have to take also the generic type as t. And I'm going to call this as spec. All right. And inside this uh, method, I'm going to return. And I'm going to say specification evaluator. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to get the query. And inside here, I'm going to add the context as you can access the context in here. And I'm going to say set T. And I'm going to say T. And after setting this T, I'm going to make this as queryable as we need to return the query i queryable and i'm going to pass in i'm going to add the brackets here and i'm going to pass in the spec as the second parameter and after we are done with this we can go ahead and apply this specification to our uh, get entity with specification or the list or async or the list async and the way we do this i'm going to start by getting this entity with spec and i'm going to say return and I'm going to use await and whenever I use the autocomplete, the function or the method we will have to convert into the async method and I'm going to say apply specification and the specification that I'm going to apply in here will be now the spec and I'm going to say first or default async like this one and again for the list you're going to say return await and use the autocomplete so as to convert that and i'm going to say apply specification and i'm going to say that this will be a spec and i'm going to say to list async like this one all right and that's all and before we move i need to give you a hint on how this is going to work let's say that i'm going to apply the specification as we are going to get in here and the t will be replaced for example with the product so whenever we get the product we're going to get this as i queryable and inside this specification evaluator here we are going to be using the product in here and whenever we we check in the criteria that we have some kind of criteria we're going to be adding this where and the, the the way this where keyword works it's like for example i can say that x goes to x uh, dot uh, product bland id for example will be equal to uh, will be go to id like this one this is now how it's going to be applied and also whenever we have to add the include it is going to 
combine all the includes as an aggregate and it is going to use this include keyword and it is going to add all the includes that we added in there and that's how it is going to work and again we're going to continue and we see on how to use these inside now the uh, controller so as to be able to get the data according to the specification and i need you to keep following as we're going to be uh, eating to the fruits of our harvest in the next video so see you there and stay cool